Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today we are watching Freerun episode 7. So on the last episode, Stark was able to take down this dragon all on his own and save the village and everything. Uh, we learned that we saw that Aizen was scared of Stark and the dragon was cautious around Stark. So he's obviously powerful. There's like this aura thing going on with him that, you know, he, he just... I don't know too much about Stark's backstory yet besides what's there with Aizen, but something about Stark has scared a dragon, made a dragon cautious, and has scared Aizen. But I really love Aizen and Stark. I just love their their dynamic. I was just adorable. It made me so emotional. So yeah, Stark has joined the party now, and Furin, Fern, and Stark went to the fortress city where Furin was more than happy to just wait it out for a while before they departed, but the other two, they're they they're ready to go on adventures, you know? Stark, I'm guessing, he he wants to have this a journey like Aizen did, so he can go back and tell Aizen about, you know, the adventures he's had, so he wants to get, he wants to go. And I still think about that dessert that he was eating. I really, I just want that. I want that dessert so bad. So yeah, so they were able, because of Freerin's popularity as being in the hero party, uh, they were able to leave the fortress city and that's where we've ended and now I am ready. Yeah, I uh, really like Stark's character. I'm really enjoying him. So yeah, so I am ready to watch episode 7 which is called Like a Fairy Tale. Okay. Uh, thank you for all your really nice comments on my previous video. And yeah, thank you for supporting my channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, whatever you're doing, just watching, whatever. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, please subscribe. I'm close to 3,000 subscribers, so it'd be cool to get there. I wouldn't mind. So yes, please, please do that if you're watching. Thank you very much. But yeah, let's get into this episode. I haven't watched in a while, so I'm excited to get back into it. So yeah, let's go. Mm, okay. <gasps> Are we really starting the flashback? Mm, okay, we knew this. Mm, look at him all just looking at her. Interesting. Founder of humanity's magic. Do they not know that she... I guess they don't know that Flame is her master. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh. Himmel! Ah. Love getting to see Himmel. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at this art. Look at it. Look at those blades of grass. <laughs> Apparently, we must be sure to praise her. I love Fern. She's so cute. Oh, this is so easy. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah, she never wakes up early. That's so rare for her. Oh, that was... What a cute and wholesome start to this episode. Um, that little flashback there, I'm sure, is important. She's the only one who remembers Flame's face. But yet, her she's talked about so, so much. Interesting. Like a fairy tale. Stork. 28 years. Eng Road. Eng Road? Eng Road? Eng Road. I don't know. Aww. The music in this show really, like, makes you... F it's so perfect for this genre. Feels like you're in, like, a tavern or something. What's the reward? Hmm. Look at her with those shots of the sky. I see you. Yeah, seriously. She's, think she's thinking long-term. He was thinking short-term. Damn, okay, Stark. I'm excited to see his character, you know, like what happens with him. Hmm. Okay. 
Interesting. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Aren't they like the same age? Yeah. I feel like someone mentioned they were both 17 or something. <laughs> Burn! She's always telling it like it is. Maybe not in such a terrifying way. Is that what he means? <laughs> That's just not her. All oh, these two are so cute together. Oof, the art. So gorgeous. We love it. Oh my god, for a second I thought Stark was holding Freerin's staff. But no. Mm. That's true. You'd be surprised that... I'm surprised that she... Well, kind of handful of times. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean... I understand. That's... Wow! Man. That was... Okay, that was an interesting little flashback there. Quick... freerin has got a wild past, I'm sure. With all of her years of being alive. The color on those rocks are so beautiful. Anyways. Oh my god. <gasps> Himmel, I want to see him fight so bad. Ugh. I want to see Himmel fight. Himmel and his companions. Gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Right. Oh, the party of heroes. <gasps> We're getting a lot of flashbacks. Oh, God, him. Oh, my God, she, <laughs> this is such a weird shot. Oh. Well, that's kind of like what she was saying earlier about Flame. No one remembering her face. Yeah. I, I get what him where Himmel's coming from, though. <gasps> oh, she. Oh, but it, that whole conversation. Oh. With flame, about flame, like, oh my god. This is more for her than it is as, like, a, a thing for celebration. It's, oh, Himmel, what the hell? Why are you so sweet? <laughs> he, he doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> Rearin. Oh. <laughs> Stop this. I'm tearing up. Oh. What a way to like memorialize her experiences with them. That's so beautiful. Oh, stop. Heaven, and we see the sky which Himmel. Oh. Okay. Wow, a lot of symbolism in this episode. Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. <gasps> oh shit, she was ready to- and she was ready to do so. <gasps> okay, horns, alright. Got an ascot on. She's ready to fucking throw down. <gasps> no! Oh no, she just acted. Graph Grand. Grand. Oh god, Lugner. Okay, like, I just met you. Peace and ways in the middle of town. <gasps> okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, she's a demon exterminator. Inter Interesting. <gasps> huh. This guy is a little scary. <gasps> Interesting. What? Ah, uh, this quest just came to a halt. Okay. Ah, uh, she's just accepting it, of course. I wonder if, like, Freerun is so, like, powerful that she could just, like, destroy everything, you know? <laughs> if she really, really wanted to. Stop. Hmm. Oh. For two- what is with them getting second towns for two years? Yeah, two, two years to her, she's like, meh. She's like, meh. Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? Aura the guillotine. Seven sages of destruction. Okay. Mm. <gasps> That's when Himmel died. That is... That's some interesting timing. They're suing for peace. Mm. Oh god, I'm sure... I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just side with Freerin off the bat. I'm just gonna side with Freerin off the bat. She is probably right. She has seen, you know, like she has seen it. Freerin has seen this all like firsthand, you know, like I don't know. I just demons just like acting all cool with people. I don't know. I don't trust this. Why they speak the same language? Ooh, <gasps> what happened to her? Oh, okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh, Himmel. Man, this episode took a turn. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> She's oh. So they're taking the, the properties of, or things that the people they've eaten say. <gasps> hmm. Right. The opportunity to atone. In, I don't know. I'm just like, nah. Mm-mm. Nope. These people are gonna die. No. Uh-uh. Get out of there. I tend to trust Himmel. Maybe. Ah, oh, I'm nervous for them. Freerun's been around the longest. I just feel like she has seen the most. I don't trust this demon. Maybe I should just open my heart a little, but I don't want to. <sighs> You're just leaving this demon alone with your kid. Okay. All right. I'm, I don't know. I'm not trusting. Uh... What the fuck did I just say? Mm. Interesting. <gasps> oh, that's vile. That is disgusting. Just replacing one human for another. That was the plan. You know what to do, Himmel. Wow, so many flashbacks in this episode. <gasps> I said I wanted to see him fight. Holy crap, he's fast. <gasps> Damn, Freerin. Good for you. She's cold. Yeah, that's her go-to thing, you know? 
to, to make people try and feel sympathy. Mm. Yeah, you're just trying to get the better of people. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> just totally manipulating people's feelings. Yeah. Oh, she defined that. Okay. Huh. They're just good at deceiving people. They're very good at deceiving <laughs> Firin's like chill as long as she can read and learn and study. Granite. Granite. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm siding with her. Mm. But to deceive, okay. <gasps> Oh, Furin. Wow, this episode took a dark freaking turn. I love it. I kind of love it. As soon as you add demons to the mix, it gets, uh, it gets dark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh-huh. It was nice to see him all fight. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, the sword's got Nyx. Aura. Hmm. Were they already planning on deceiving the demons? Lugnar. Oh, okay. Oh god, do not be deceived, sir. Do not be deceived. That's what they do. Uh-oh, he's taking in the surroundings. Oh god, oh god. Uh-huh. <gasps> what? That is... I do not trust you, sir, although you are quite beautiful, and I love your ascot. To settle with discussion. Yikes. Humans are so, like, emotional, though. Oh, no. Oh, the more time they're given to, uh, the worse it gets, I'm sure. Ah. Uh... Mm, I don't. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. They see that they just used a different word this time. They're still dece deceiving them. Yes, so they're taking total advantage. Mm -hmm. Defensive barrier. <gasps> Oh, okay. The, 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 yeah. Okay, I was right to stand with Freerin. I was right. Oh? Oh? Durat. <gasps> okay. Damn, Durat. He's a demon, okay. One of, oh, executioners. He knows it. He knows who she is. Okay. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Just a little. Oh fuck! Fear Rin is so cool. 
Like I said, I was wondering if what she could, how strong she was and how much she could destroy. This song is so not fitting with the mood right now. But she is so cool. I love how she's just so, she's aware of it. Uh, that was cool of her. Just so you know, I'm strong. They don't know who she is exactly, but Freerin's, I'm sure we haven't even seen an ounce of what she's capable of. She's been around for so long. She knows so much. She, and she acted like she, she acted quick as soon as she even sensed demons. I mean, that's what she's done. She did in the Heroes Party for, for a while, like, She's and I, like we saw in the flashbacks, like she has seen the deprived depravity of like what they do, and how they completely manipulate people. And she's like one of the well, she's an elf, but she can see past all of that. She doesn't have the emotion that humans have to feel empathy like that in those moments. She sees past it. She knows. Plus, she's been around for so long that. Her master, who is that may just be? She slew more demons than anyone else in history. Are they talking about her? Are they talking about Freerin? Because if they are, then I'm so excited to keep watching. Someone said to watch uh, episode 8, 9, and 10 together. And I don't know if I'll do that all, but I will watch them close, to, very close together, not like week to week. Um, but... Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what them talk about Freer and more and learn more about um, what she has done in the past. Ooh. Okay, so I just <laughs> I just recorded my thoughts for like 12 minutes and I just realized that my audio recording just stopped. So here I am again to re-record my uh, thoughts for after that episode. That's okay. You know, it happens. Um, so yes, yeah, so let me just talk about this episode again. I'll, I'll just try and go through the episode this time. So one, really like that flashback there with, um, at, lots of flashbacks in this episode, what I really enjoyed. Um, I really like how Himmel pays so much attention to every freaking word that comes out of Freerin's mouth. Like, she speaks and he, 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 it's up there for him. Like, he does not forget when she's talking about how Flame, her master, she's like the only one who would remember her face now. And oh, it just, that Flame, the founder of humanity's magic is like a fairy tale herself. That was said by Aizen. But then later she says a fairy tale and then that it's been so long that it seems like a fairy tale is kind of what they're going for. And that she's the only one who would remember her face. And then later, and then you see like Himmel sort of in the background. So I'm like, of course Himmel is picking up what she's saying. And I'm like, okay, where where is he going with this? And then they have that scene of them making the statue. See, I'm like going through the episode while I talk about it. So that they have all these these statues made of the hero party. And it he's plays it off like, oh, it's because I'm I'm handsome and all of that. And he's like, people need to see how handsome I am and blah, blah, blah. He, but he says the biggest reason is that she won't be alone. That's so that she won't be alone after they're gone. She'll have some, their faces like actually there. And then he says, we're not fairy tales. So like everything they say, he, he just, he keeps it in his mind. And it's so beautiful. So, and you can tell, like, now when she sees... Also, I just realized that like, the statues are, like, the passage of time because the statues are, like, made out of copper or something, or... And they've oxidized. Um, and, like, the way she feels when she sees them again, because now it will never feel like a fairy tale because the their statues are always around and always there. Oh. Freer, like that's a way for them to just like invest in Freerin's life after they're gone that she won't for no they won't humanity won't forget them she won't be the only one who remembers their faces and she she won't feel like 
it feels like a fairy tale. Like it'll feel real. And I just love that. That's so sweet. And also love to see him all fight for like half a second. I really wanted to see that. So I'm glad I got to really appreciated all the hero party flashbacks in this episode and with the demon uh little demon child thing in the village that was so interesting i'm liking the darker tone of this episode and i'm so glad that like as soon as the demon <laughs> showed up and like everyone's like Meh, try, like peace envoy and all that i was like nah i'm siding with freer and she she fucking she went for it like she acted right away and I'm on her side. Like, she is the one who is in the hero's party. She's the one who knows probably the most out of anyone. So she would know what's right in this situation. And she says, like, this town is going to be gone soon. I just really, I appreciate, stars of this episode were Freerin and Himmel. Like, they really were them in this episode. I really appreciated it. She, the way she acted and, like, people are like, oh, don't, it's like a peace thing. And... She's just like, no, it's not even, it's not even possible to do that. And she's so right to like, that, I just thought that was really interesting. And that like flashback to the village there where the kid, the, the demon tries to replace the one person's daughter they ate with another kid. Oh, like that's disgusting. And her saying mom as a way to just try and get them to not kill her. And that's for everyone being like, obviously seeing past it i'm wondering the next episode is called freer in the slayer and it says that at the very end that she's what did it say she slew more demons than anyone else in history are they talking about freer in because then like 1000 percent, i would side with freer in this scenario <laughs> like she gave them a chance and because she had pretty much had to with the hero party but obviously it didn't work out for them um, and she didn't hesitate. She did what she had to do. She sees through the charade that they were putting up because she has been around for so long and her master was the one who defined what demons were too. So she has known for so, so long what they are capable of and what they're ready to do to deceive, deceive people. Like I could see like right through it right away, but they're using people's empathy against them. Um, I thought... Yeah, I'm. This is like a built, felt like a build up episode, but I'm really, really, really excited to see the next few episodes. Oh god, they're gonna be crazy. Um, this episode took kind of a dark turn, and that ending was so good. Him saying, or her, wait, him saying he's here to execute her, and she's just sitting there, kind of like chill, and that he's one of Aura's executioners, and she's just like. Just so you know, I'm strong. And he's like, stronger than me. And she's like, stronger than Aura. <laughs> and then the episode just ends. Like, I don't think she has any doubt that she could win in this scenario. And I'm excited to see more of what Freerin's like genuinely capable of. Because she's, like, I think she's sidelined herself a lot in this series so far. And we've seen more of what Stark and Fern are capable of. Uh, and just a tiny bit of what Freerin can do. But... I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Freerin can do. Um, kind of, she's gonna be a little scary, <laughs> I think. But um, I think she's gonna be a total badass. I liked how cold she was this episode, and she has to be. She has. She just has to be. Sometimes it really benefits them in this scenario. Um, she is obviously we've seen she's capable of emotions, and it's sad that like the elves are dying out even though like they live for so long because they don't often feel romantic feelings or and don't like mate very often um i wonder if there's like half elves i'm wondering about that um just randomly curious but yeah just and it, that's pretty sad that she hadn't seen another elf for over 400 years or something like that interesting um yeah i'm excited to see what's next really good episode um really good build-up episode got the vibe really right so yeah i'm excited i, I just oh i'm excited to see what's next so yes um i think i will watch the next few episodes in one day probably not like back to back i'll maybe like take a couple hour break maybe like watch it over again um is the dub any good for this because i would i wouldn't mind re-watching the series dubbed just for my own enjoyment, like not recorded, but 
I like watching the dub sometimes because I feel like I can just pick up on things a bit better when I don't have to read subtitles all the time. So I like to, and I, I like to watch both just to see which one I prefer more usually, but obviously when I'm reacting, I will watch it subbed. I'm not like, I'm not like the kind of person that cares one way or the other. I like, I usually enjoy both. I usually get something from both. That's just how I am personally. But yes, I, yeah, I think I might do that next time. Watch, watch the next few episodes. It was recommended to me to watch the next few episodes, like back to back kind of um in one sitting watch them so i might do that um i'm at the mercy of my camera battery which tends to die after one and a half episodes or so so yeah we'll see i'll have to charge it won't be one after the other but it'll be it'll be something like that it'll be throughout the day i watched three episodes but yes um anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed um my commentary on this episode really cool episode and i'm excited to see what's next i said i'm excited like a lot this video but yeah, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Almost at 3,000. Let's, I want to get myself there. Please help me. So subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Have a good day. Bye-bye.